the Michael Myers fanatic is here to review the 1989 horror movie A Nightmare on Elm Street 5 The Dream Child. It stars Lisa Wilcox as Alice and Robert England as Freddy. The middle characters I'm not really sure of and I'm not going to try to hide that fact. I don't know who plays them and really don't give a crap. Anyway, the movie opens up with a scene of two people making love. And this is supposed to be Alice and her boyfriend Daniel Jordan. We are led to believe that it is these people making love and they end up creating a baby. Alice gets pregnant and basically she wakes up to go and take a shower but then all this brown disgusting water starts coming out of the bathtub and whatnot. She wakes up from the dream and she tells her boyfriend Daniel that she had a nightmare. Daniel replies by saying was it about him? And she says no not exactly. She then goes to her graduation. Her dad's actually a drunk but she decides to forgive him and she's like just come to the graduation. So all of that is in the past unless you stop going to your meetings. Meaning his AA meetings. And he says no of course not. A long story short somehow Freddy's back and he starts killing people all over again. This is the same old stuff from before. He kills all her friends one by one. It's the same old thing from before. He ends up killing Dan first. If I'm not mistaken, I think Dan was the first victim. He like turns Dan into a motorcycle or something weird like that and he's like making all these motorcycle puns. He's like Fuel injection! This boy has the need for speed! <laughs> like he's trying way too hard to be funny. Alice is the only one that knows that Freddy Krueger's back. Nobody else believes her. And she has this friend named Yvonne. And the black girl is like the biggest bitch in this entire movie. She's the one thinking Alice is crazy. And you would think that if anybody was going to have her back, it would be her best friend. But no, instead it ends up being some geeky boy named Mark. And his favorite superhero is the Phantom Prowler. He likes comic books. And Mark is the only one that has her back. But the problem is, Freddy ends up killing him by turning his nightmare into one big comic and Freddy rips him up like he turns him into a piece of paper and rips him into pieces there's also another girl named Greta she has like this eating disorder so Freddy uses that against her and stuffs her mouth full of food and makes her choke in her sleep and he's like cracking all these stupid jokes. He's like, mmm, filet de body. He's trying way too hard to be funny. He's not funny. He's just annoying. If it's one thing that the Michael Myers fanatic hates, that's somebody that tries too hard in whatever they're doing. Robert England is probably a nice guy. But the problem is they try way too hard to make him funny. Filet de body, that's not funny at all. But in this movie, Alice has a son, Jacob. And we find out that Freddy is actually using Jacob's dream to come back into reality. Really? Really? Babies can dream now? Really? They can? That's some weird shit. Babies can dream? This is really stupid. Four was okay, but five, five got really stupid. Comic book heroes, and apparently babies can dream. And is it the Michael Myers fanatic, or is Jacob one ugly ass kid? 
man, he's ugly. He fit right in there with Freddy Krueger, I'll tell you that much. And there's also some lady named Amanda Krueger. She got raped by a hundred people. Thus, Freddy Krueger having the name Son of a Hundred Maniacs. Her spirit has to be set free or some weird shit. These kinds of things sound like something you would do on a video game. That's what this movie looked like to me. It looked like a video game. I mean, it was okay, but 4 was better. 4 was just better than part 5. I didn't really like 5 all that much. The only good thing about this piece of crap was Alice. The Michael Myers fanatic always did have a slight crush on Alice. Lisa Wilcox. Lisa, if you're listening, you're the only thing that made this piece of trash worth watching. Other than that, it's really not worth watching. Because Freddy Krueger killed your brother. Your brother was like this awesome character. He knew martial arts, but then Freddy killed him in part four. So it's not really anything worth talking about with this movie. Jacob ends up using the powers that Freddy gave him in order to undo Freddy, to kill Freddy. Because Freddy tries to turn Jacob evil, but it doesn't work. And actually, the black girl, Yvonne, she lived. So the Michael Myers fanatic can't really complain. Because for once, Freddy didn't kill the black person. That's a plus. At the end of the movie, Jacob kills Freddy. And Amanda Kruger takes Freddy back into her body. That really looked disgusting. But then, of course... We all know that Freddy comes back, so I guess in a way that was all pointless. And by the way, the Michael Myers fanatic forgot to mention that Dan's parents, who's Alice's boyfriend, his parents threatened to take the baby away from Alice. But as we can see at the end of this movie, they didn't get to do that. And it is assumed that she probably moved away from Springwood. Alice her father and Yvonne live happily ever after and that's the end of the movie a nightmare on Elm Street 5 from 1989 it was a piece of crap but Lisa Wilcox was the only thing that made it worth watching I'm the Michael Myers fanatic and whether you jabronis like it or not I approve this message